Well, good evening to you and welcome to the West Ham Daily. Yes, it's me again. In how many times can I be on a show, eh? Um, a very, very short one because uh, the news was announced by the Premier League today about uh, fixtures for the 2022-23 uh, season. Um, God, can you imagine how time flies? Um, and uh, how the season's going to shape up because uh, we've, got, we've got the World Cup coming up in, the, in winter. And the Premier League issued an announcement and they said that the Premier League 22-23 season uh, dates have been confirmed. The season has been adjusted to accommodate the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, which will take place in the middle of the domestic calendar. We'll get on to that in a minute. It goes on to say the Premier League season will start on the 6th of August. Uh, match round 16 will be the last set of matches played over the weekend of the 12th to 13th, uh, 12 and 13th of November, ahead of the call-up period for the tournament beginning on the 14th of November. Uh, and then finally, the league, the league will resume on Boxing Day following the FIFA World Cup final, which takes place on Sunday the 18th of December. The final match round of the campaign will be played uh, of the Premier League on the 28th of May 2023, when all games will kick off simultaneously as usual. And of course, we'll be kicking off that game um, as uh, champions looking to retain the uh uh, the Premier League Championship, won't we? Of course. <laughs> I mean, but let's be realistic. Well, I am being realistic, aren't I? But l l let's sort of look into the, the, these fixtures because, um, well, first of all, I mean, I'd like to know from people that are watching tonight, how many of you even agree with the World Cup taking place in uh, in winter? Now, all right, I know Qatar's hot and there's no way it can be played in the summer, but should it have even been given uh, the the, um, the competition in the first place. There's a lot of scandal, a lot of controversy, a lot of uh, talk about um, how it all all came about, etc. This ain't the show for it. We could do a we could do a t two hours on that on on another day. Um, but it, it's winter, and um, you know, in my lifetime, well, in the whole lifetime of the World Cup, the World Cup has never been played in winter. So this is a break. Of course, money counts. FIFA wanted the money from Qatar and it didn't matter. They could have told us it, you know, could be played uh, at whatever whatever time in the year. They would have just, uh, you know, taken the money and, and, and accepted it, wouldn't they? Um, so the, the season starts. Uh, so tell me what you guys think. What, what, what do you guys think of having a winter World Cup? I don't like it. It is what it is. We're stuck with it. But anyway, so the the Premier League, um, they're saying that uh, the, the league will start um, uh, early. It only starting. It's only going to start a week earlier. The current season started on the 13th of August. The new season uh, next season is going to start on the 6th. So it's starting a week earlier. Uh, and then the break um, uh, uh, for the World Cup, like I said, on the 12th and 13th of November. And then, or, or, or the final games on the 12th and 13th of November, November then the team, the, the players who are, have been picked for their uh, national squads who have qualified for the World Cup will join up with their teams on the Monday in order to start playing games on the 18th. So there's no break there. So straight from domestic football, straight into the World Cup training, getting ready, etc. Uh, uh, just over a week to get ready for the first, for the first game of the tournament. Um, well, a week, eight days to get ready for the tournament. And then uh, the, the final is on the 18th of December. And then we've got eight days before everybody's got to get back to prepare for uh, our, ki our kickoff again on Boxing Day. So another eight days, well, eight days of rest. And I, I guess for teams that go, uh, go out earlier in the competition, yeah, players will, will, will be rested a bit, a bit longer. And then our season ends on the 28th of May. And that's about a week later than it will end this season. So our season will end on the 22nd. So, OK, so we start a week earlier. We finish a week later. 
And there might be another week or so in between, you know, when players come back from the World Cup, you know, and start playing again on the uh, on the on Boxing Day. So you kind of got roughly, you kind of got three weeks rest. But this competition is going to go for a month, you know, and then you've got the week before, you know, because players are going to go and, and, and start with the team and so on. So, you know, it's actually going to take up overall five to six weeks of, of the season, even though we get half of that back. So if you start looking at, uh, um, dem- you know, our domestic football, our European football, you know, we'll be in the Champions League next season. We're going to be playing that. That's going to be difficult. Uh, we, we've got domestic cup competitions and all that. You can see that the players are going to have much less time uh, uh, to 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 rest than 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 they already have. Now I know we go on about players. You know, um, they they get played a lot of money, and they should easily play two games a week without without rest, etc. It used to be done in the old days, and so on and so forth. But this is kind of different. This is going into a, a, a competition, a World Cup competition that you need to be fully ready for you know imagine all the injuries that uh, players may get in the domestic season where you know they 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 might miss out on the world cup you know imagine you know if declan for example you know gets injured uh, just before the world cup and then is ruled out i mean it would be such a shame wouldn't it because let's be honest he's the one that's going to be lifting this trophy up because he should be england captain shouldn't he so it, I think there's an awful lot of questions to be answered. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because it's all about money. Uh, why FIFA even allowed this to, to, to happen. To have a World Cup in, in uh, the middle of winter, uh, when we've got a full domestic uh, campaign going on, is, is wrong in my mind. And, it keep, and, and it's the whole issue about when international games get played. Um, you know, there's been suggestions that maybe all international qualifiers, etc., should be played in, in, in a month where, so, it, so that it doesn't affect the season. Now we've got a competition it's not friendlies it's not sort of like qualifiers etc this is the real thing and it's a real real shame that um i think it, i think it's going to be i think the world cup's going to be damaged by it. I, I don't think players you know won't be kind of mentally ready for it they're just coming out of uh, their domestic leagues and then they have to sort of get their mindset into international football and then when they've done that they're going to get their mindsets back into uh domestic football again I think it's a shame, um, but uh, there, that's the announcement today. So what about, what, what do people think in, in the chat? Let's see what people have to say. Uh, good evening, Dangerous Sod. How are you? No one ever heard of Qatar or a Qatar player. Uh, they, they were some serious bungs involved to get it there. And the fact that they have it in winter and destroyed the Premier League is a farce. I completely agree with you. Uh, Dangerous Sod again. Bungs from Saudi Arabia. Uh, to buy Newcastle as well. Our beautiful game is tarnished. It's been tarnished. Don't you think it's been tarnished ever since um, uh, foot, um, TV money has been involved? I mean, in such a serious way. You could blame Sky for all these developments that have happened over the years. And, and you know, people having their dirty fingers in the pie, you know, FIFA, uh, those who were involved in making the decision, set Blatter and all that. It was uh, just an outrageous decision. Good afternoon to you, Father Snowman. Good afternoon, Howard. Evening all. Come on, you irons. Howard, uh, we should qualify, then boycott. The Premier is much more important than the World Cup. I like the World Cup, but it's been tarnished by this. Uh, Snowman, I heard on Newcastle Fan Channel today, all Premier League games are voting to stop them buying players from the Premier League. Typical greedy six. Yeah. Yeah, well, why should they stop them? You know, that, what should have been stopped is by them being able to buy the club in the first place. Uh, Father Snowman, next will be Australia to host the World Cup. I kind of almost don't mind Australia more than I do Qatar. At least Australia, have, you know, they've got a football team and they and they, they do try and qualify for the World Cup in the right way. But uh, it's wrong, whatever way you look at it. Stuart, Sunday, the 18th of December, 2022, 3 p.m. UK time, World Cup final. What a disaster exactly it doesn't even feel right it doesn't even sound right good after good evening to you or good afternoon to you Stuart. hello mate howard i hope you're well disabled team good evening to you thank you for joining us disabled team again good evening to everybody else p gads uh, i still think all civilized countries should pull out of qatar due to the human rights issues well that's the bit i almost didn't want to talk about but it is unbelievable that you you hear how these stadiums have been built what's happened the way they treat people over there um all these sort of um you know workers over there um and and yet it still went ahead um Disabled team. Uh, hi, Stuart. Hope you're well. Everyone's saying hello to each other. Good evening to you, Neil. Uh, 5 a.m. in the morning. You actually genuinely never sleep, Neil. I mean, it's proven now, isn't it? 
Um, everyone is saying evening. But what do you think about this? What do, what do you think about th this news that, you know, our season is going to start early, our season is going to finish late um, to try and cram in all these fixtures, uh, disabled team. I still think it's, uh, per I still think it's silly personally. It's like having three tournaments in one season. Not right, is it? Uh, any news on European competitions? I didn't, uh, I didn't get a chance to look into that, but I'm sure, obviously, that most of them will be affected. But let's not forget, there's an awful lot of uh, European competitions that don't actually carry on over. You know, our Europe Europa League competition stops in early December. I think Champions League does as well. They all resume again around what? Uh, uh, January, if you have to play the uh, um, uh, uh, the uh, qualifiers uh, to get into the next round, uh, or, or most of, most of the European games start again in late January, early February. So I think European competitions wouldn't have got affected either way. Uh, disabled team, um, good, thank you. Everyone is saying hello, um, Neil. Uh, a World Cup in Australia would be fine, as it would be in midwinter here and midsummer there. There you go. Uh, good evening to you, uh, Luke. I hope you're well. Howard, well, well, club games when we win the Champions League still. There you go. We will win the Champions League, won't we? Raymond, madness. Absolutely agree. It is madness. Luke, Winter Cup is a joke. World Cup is a joke. Australia, we're ignored because it would be in the winter. Good point. Qatar has zero football heritage. Absolute disgrace. Stuart, I think eight days rest from final back to the Premier League is ridiculous. Absolutely. Uh, Hammerhead, uh, sexual caramel. I'm sure that means something to you. Uh, Steve, evening, Mel. I'm, I'm good, mate. How are you? Quattro, how are you, mate? Everyone has been... Hi, everyone. It's been a while. Been busy with school. I hope it's all going well for you, mate. Uh, Quattro. But thank you for joining us. Good evening to you, Steve. Luke. Like playing the Cricket World Cup in Greenland. <laughs> Good point. Mark R. Um, it could be worse, everyone. World Cup still the jewel. Well, could it be really worse, Mark? You know, playing the World Cup in winter in a country that doesn't deserve, to, never really deserved to have gotten it. You know, let's not forget, you know, America has had it. How do they get it? You know, you want traditional countries with a footballing tradition to have the World Cup and you wouldn't mind it at all. You know, you wouldn't mind Brazil. You wouldn't mind Argentina, as, as has been done before. You wouldn't mind, I don't know, back in England, maybe. You wouldn't mind anywhere, most most countries in Europe, for example. You know, when it goes to a country like Qatar, you, you do question what's going on. But we all know the answer. We all know. So let me recap before I leave you, because it's a really, a really, really short show. So, as I said, uh, it's been announced. The 2022-23 season dates have been confirmed. Uh, the season obviously has been adjusted to accommodate the FIFA should not be at the World Cup Qatar 2022, which would take place in the middle of winter. Um, uh, so as mentioned already, the Premier League start, starts 6th of August, which is a week before it started this season. Match round 16 will be the last set of matches played on the weekend of the 12th to the 13th of November, ahead of the call-up for the 14th of November. So, And the first um, game, I believe, starts about a week after that. Um, I think 21st of November, something like that. So as you see, players will not have an awful lot of time to prepare. They won't have an awful... Uh, oh, no. First game starts on the 18th of November, four days later, people, four days later. So there's hardly even time to get tactics and training in place with uh, with your national team colleagues. Um, so no time for respite for any players. Uh, and the league will resume on Boxing Day. Well, of course it will. Why would why would the Premier League uh, not want to have a ram packed Christmas as they usually do? Um, Premier League will resume on Boxing Day. Um, that's eight days after the 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 uh, final uh, on the 18th of December, and the final match of the Premier League will be played on the 28th, which is a week later than than current than than uh, this current season will end. So it's crammed, it's rammed. Let's see how many players are going to go down before uh, the the World Cup starts. I think we're going to get an awful lot of upset players who are looking forward to the World Cup, probably get an injury at the, in their domestic team, and they'll be out for that for that whole World Cup. You know, look at Oggy, for example, you know, with an injury, could be out a couple of more months, could be out the whole year, you know, and it's such a shame. Um, but uh, one thing that we do want, we want this man to lift up this trophy, don't we? Because let's be honest, he should be England captain, shouldn't he? Last few comments before I go. Um, Steve, it's about time the World Cup came back to the mother country. Was that Brazil? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, since we had it in the 66, Mexico uh, and Germany have held it twice. No one like us. Yeah, I agree. Should come back here. 
Qatar qualify, I assume. Of course they bloody will do. They're going to get smashed. Of course they bloody will. That's the one thing you can't buy. You can't buy a national team. Well, well, well. <laughs> you can naturalize an awful lot of players uh, in a very quick space of time. Um, disagree on some regards, Steve. Why not Portugal agrees? Well, Portugal absolutely deserves it as well. That is probably going to be where the next World Cup uh, or one of the next World Cups will be held, Africa, without a doubt. Spencer, the list of reasons not to play at the World Cup outweighs the reasons for playing by a mile. I think the World Cup, the world should boycott boycott Qatar. I really actually, you know, I love the World Cup, but I, I, I agree, Spencer, I really do. Jordan, 1,400 people died building that stadium. I've only just seen it still. You should tell everyone to stay away from supporting this cup at all. It's disgusting. Can't deny that. I absolutely agree. Uh, Chris Biggs, how are you? Whenever Simon hears West Ham are massive, he has nightmares. <laughs> Forget about Jordan. There you go. Short and sweet. Thank you for joining us as usual. Um, Russ is on later tonight. He's doing something. Uh, I can't remember what it is because I did go into... Hang on, let me see if I can... No, I don't know. I don't know, so I'm not going to... Um, yeah, Russ is doing a show later on, so do join him for that. Be back for another daily tomorrow. Maybe I'll try and get on at lunchtime or something like that instead of uh, the evening. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for your comments, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>